Welcome to Home Rehab Pros. This is Dennis. I had a request to compare uh, putty knives or drywall knives, six inch knives is what I'm gonna work with here today. And I chose three and I got these off of an online uh, center and you can get them there too. In fact, the link to each one of these kits, they have a six inch, a four inch, paint scraper, five and one. Uh, they say they're all stainless steel, we'll see. We'll look at how the blades compare and how the knives compare. And there are three different price points. So we have, um, we have these three knives and you can see they're all six, they're all six inch knives. Uh, one's a gold blatt, which is a very well-known name in the, in the plaster and drywall industry, by the way. So uh, we're looking forward to looking how that tool works. Uh, this one was $24 for the kit. And again, you get a, you get a, um, a, a six inch knife, a four inch knife, you get a little putty knife, you get a five in one, and I think there was something else in each one of these kits. So they're nice kits. Uh, this one was $16, and uh, uh, this is a, an off-brand. It's not the same. In fact, you see both of these kind of look the same, but this one, this one only cost $10. So we've got $24, we've got $16, we've got $10. Which one's the best for the average homeowner to use? They're not going to do this professionally. They just want a decent knife that they can keep in their tool stock and, and use when they have some holes to patch. So uh, we're gonna get started with this. So uh, let's just see how they spot screws. Now when I spot these screws, of course I'm, I'm gonna scrape a little bit. Okay, but and to spot a screw, all I'm gonna do is put a little bit of mud on my knife. And that's all I'm gonna do. And this knife feels really good. Okay, it feels uh, like a professional would use it. Okay, also, I have some angles to coat. And uh, this is going to be, this is a straight flex. I'm going to coat that. I'm going to scrape it. And how I would coat that with this knife is I would put a little bit of mud, just like that. And I would go along the edge, just like that. Okay. So all I want to see is how that does. And uh, it floats mud nicely. So then I'm going to, I'm going to, not wipe all of it off, but I'm gonna wipe most of it off. And let's see how this works. See, I need to be a little more mud right there. Okay. Okay, so that's really all I have to do with straight flex. And uh, let me take a look, excuse the back of my head. You know, that looks really nice. So the, this knife, it feels like it uh, could work pretty good for me. Uh, even as a professional, it might be something that I wouldn't mind uh, working with. But what I'm gonna do <clears throat> is later on in the video, you're gonna see how after these dry, do they rust? Uh, is there really more carbon in here than, than uh, they're telling us? So that will be the final part of our review. But so far, this Goldblatt knife works pretty good. Let's take a look at another one. Let's use this knife. This is the $16 kit. Okay, so let's see uh, the blade. Uh, it, let's see how flexible it is. Let's see how well it works. I'm gonna scrape these screws. And I'm just gonna put my little bit of mud on there and I'm gonna spot a couple screws. And again, it feels, it feels like the blade is a little more flexible than the gold blad. Uh, let's do a little bit of straight flex. Actually, uh, that worked really nice. And for $8 less than the gold blad, it, m it might prove to be a, a pretty decent knife. Uh, worked good spot in the screws, a little more flexible than the gold blad, but it coated my straight flex very nicely. So uh, let's move on to the next one. So this is the $9, well, the $10 pair uh, or kit. So let's take a look and see uh, what this does for us. Good. Spot that screw. A little bit of mud. And I noticed that this blade is more flexible than the other two. So gold black gives you a stiffer, a little stiffer blade. The, the uh, work pro uh, is not quite as stiff as that, 
but this is really the most flexible blade, but it's only $10 for the kit. Now let's see how it does with the straight flex. Actually, that worked really nice for the straight flex. So, and it did good, but, but again, the blade is more flexible. So uh, let's move on and we'll try some other things with these tools. Okay, so here are the sets of tools that we've got. 24, $25, $16, $10. Every set has their advantage. Uh, the price point is the advantage for these tools. But as you can see, I used the six inch knife, no rust. It cleaned up pretty nice. Same with that six inch knife and same with that six inch knife. So they all are as advertised. Uh, and so it just depends on what you want, how much you want to spend. I don't think you could miss on any one of these sets. If you're just a homeowner, just a DIYer who wants to patch a hole now and then, this is actually not a bad set for $10. If you want to upgrade the quality uh, and the stiffness of the blade a little bit, these uh, Work Pro knives are pretty good. And I would have no problem recommending any one of these sets. I personally would buy the Goldblatt. It's a little more professional. It also has the hammer head on the end, just in case you uh, have something that you need to have a firm end on. These, of course, are rounded plastic ends on both of these. So we just, uh, we just need to keep that in mind and uh, work with those. But I would recommend any one of them for the purpose of a homeowner just wanting to have some stock tools just for wall patches. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate the opportunity to fulfill a request for one of my subscribers. And one of them asked about which tool set might be able to be used. Hopefully this was helpful. And if you liked it, please subscribe. If you really liked it, please share it with others. And let's look forward to more requests from my viewers. I'd love to be able to satisfy those needs. Thank you again. This is Dennis with Home Rehab Pros.